Hello everyone! Mike is here with a very interesting teardown today. So, what we have here is a Dell Optiplex and what I wanted to do was show you how I tear computers down and get them ready for uh, either part resell or uh, t selling my boards or stuff I send off for refining or stuff I refine myself which I don't do very much of I've tried it and I've done it but uh, right now I'm concentrating on my uh, electronics recycling business and we'll wait to do the refining later so third first thing I do is I try and open her up as much as I can to where I can get to everything and I take off the easy stuff now try and get rid of as much bulky stuff and just get it out of your way hey, loose hard drive all right so hard drives when I do hard drives I remove this guy but I leave the hard drive itself all together and I sell the uh, hard drive boards separate from the hard drives themselves. Uh, now, if this was a uh, client of mine, I would fully break down the entire hard drive and then scratch the disk. Now, let's see what we got here. Taking these apart before, but it's been a while. Okay. CD ROMs. So I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Mine was wonderful. Hope you guys got safe plans for the new year. Of course, I've already went over that in one of my videos, but I don't know which one I'm posting first, so thought I'd say it again. Okay, inside the CD-ROM. Pull the board, set it aside. If I can snap this guy out easy, then I'll keep him. Always check on the ribbon, check the end. See, we got a little bit of gold plating here. And that normally means the other side of the ribbon, there's going to be more there. On this guy, okay, for the little piece of gold in here, you want to look for the item that's going normally diagonal. Doesn't mean you always get him, but it's a good start. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, that's not it. Should have been it. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Okay, see that? Just a little bit of gold there, but it's gold. 
So, there's my cutters. Take him. And all you gotta do is barely scoot him across a little bit and he'll pop right off normally. Okay, so you take that guy, set him to the side. And there should actually be one other piece in here. I think he's down in there. I don't think I'll be able to get to him right now. I don't want to bore you guys with the... Let me see. Knock a few things apart here and see if I can. Um, most electronics, what you're looking at is trial and error. Almost none of them are the same. Don't forget, you also have gold pins in here. Take it, barely cut, hold on to it, and just turn it sideways. And these are nice, they're plated all the way down. Start you up high all of those. All right, the rest of that board is crap. Throw it with your uh, shred. copper and a couple of magnets in there but nothing to write home about if you did nobody would write you back Let's see. well he's either going to be in here or we're not going to get him how's that Maybe this guy is it. Alright, when's the last time you seen a guy make a fool of himself on camera? Oh, that's right, my last video. Alright, hang on just a minute. Channel locks are like my favorite tool. Next to my cutters, it is. Okay. All right. So, I'm thinking I may have lost it. <coughs> Flew over there, but I'm not sure. So this will go into a dirty aluminum. Hardly worth anything these days. And this goes to shred. You can pull the little motors out if you want, but honestly, you can spend that time more wisely going after more scrap. All right, so where are we at? So get him up and out of the way. dogs are in the background fighting right now. I've got a uh, four-year-old lab. I've got a three-year-old. He's a pointer mix. Pointer spaniel. And I got a, a blue healer mix. And they love to fight. I'm guessing they'd be great hunters because uh, you can tell it whenever they're out they're ready to go that's for sure all right power supplies I didn't used to do this but now I go ahead and I cut off the wire and I just I sell them separate Now, where I 
sell my copper wire. This is number two, ICW, insulated copper wire. I can't have ends on it. I'm trying, I'm showing pieces to the wood, guys. So we lay that off to the side. All right, now a lot of you guys are gonna comment and say that it's uh, aluminum wire, but it really isn't. If you take it and pull off a little bit of the sheathing and then rub it on a file, you'll see that it's aluminum coated copper wire. Gold ends, I sell these for 40 cents a pound. ICW, it runs about, uh, I think the last price I seen was 45 cents a pound, which is disgusting compared to what it used to be. You used to get a dollar and a quarter for copper, insulated copper wire. I'm not even sure they're paying that much on Romex anymore. Alright. Put on the gold piece over there, copper wire over there. Get this last one done. Sorry, I keep forgetting. I keep taking this out of the frame. Alright, so gold ends one place, copper wire another. power supply. Lay that off to the side. <clears throat> okay. SATA ends. Cut. And cut. Now I'll be honest, I have not looked at this wire to see if it's copper or aluminum, but I'm going to lay that to the side and check it later. see this guy now this piece I just cut the wire from um, he's not attached to the rest of these so I can actually take him off of here and get paid for uh, gold plated ends alright now on older equipment I'll take these guys let me show you how to uh, open these up. You go to the back here, cut, pull it off, and then you just pull this up like this, and that gives you your uh, gives you access to the uh, pins. I've worn the end off of my uh, cutters here, so they're not very good at uh, pulling pins. There we go. All right. I don't know if you can tell or not. A little bit of gold plating there. All right. So we'll throw this guy to the side. All right battery <clears throat> all right um let's see plastic like I told, I told you guys before I used to get paid for this and now they're not paying for plastic but I will locate another buyer eventually let's see Oh, I guess we could jerk the CPU out of here real quick.
Do we want to check the uh, warranty status of our printer? No. Okay. And here you have uh, aluminum, off. copper, uh, heat sink. You, you got to make sure to take your uh, bolts and springs off. You also got to take this fan off in order to get paid for that. Um, let's see, it's just going to be a cheap pinless, I'm guessing. It may have been. Nope, pinless. And I can tell already it's just one of the common ones, so we're not going to worry about cleaning it up or nothing. We're just going to throw it to the side. Okay, now let's go ahead and. Pull this guy out, like that, grab it with your, okay, okay, that's ready for the aluminum bucket. Okay, gold recovery. If you guys are interested, all right, save your RAM because, like on this RAM, you've got an IC chip and BGAs. Okay, it's loaded with MLCCs, which normally you don't get paid on that unless you send it to a, a large refiner. But you got your gold fingers. Lay him to the side, and let's see, it looks like I have one PCI card, or peripheral card, depends on who you're talking to, what part of the country. On here, you got your gold fingers, two IC chips, and you really have to make a decision, guys, if, um, if you go at this for gold recovery, you know, right now as this sits, this board is worth $3.45 a pound. That's leaving the bracket on. All right, if I cut these gold fingers off, I think they only give you like $2 a pound for it. You know, so if you're only worried about the gold, go ahead and cut the fingers. But if you need money, uh, if you're trying to get the most money for your effort right now, then you better leave the fingers on and sell them this way. Same thing with these. Uh, RAM runs between $13 and $16 a pound here in the U.S. Um, but if you cut that gold off, the gold finger off, I, I don't know what they give you. I don't, I'm not even sure if they'll buy it. Well, they'll probably buy it, but uh, you're not going to get very much for it. Okay, now, for those of you interested in just BGA chips, let me show you a trick real quick. While this is still in the board, Just come at any one of the corners and slowly tap a screwdriver underneath of it. Um, a lot. The only reason I did that inside here is because I had a lot of room. If my screwdriver would have been angled any more, there's no way I could have got to it and the entire top would have shattered. But I don't even um, scrap out motherboards anymore, you know. Normally, I, uh, I just take them out and I sell them as is because they're worth more, you know. The thing about these are with the uh, with metal sockets, they're only worth 90 cents a pound. But still, how much is a motherboard? 
you know this one's a small guy so he's not worth very much but let's see got all this stuff unplugged man look at that dust disgusting all right um actually i may have one that fits that real quick If you're gonna be doing this anytime at all, get yourself some drivers with uh, get Torx bits, get you a set of uh, just miscellaneous bits, and then uh, but make sure you get you a set of Torx bits because these come in so handy and it'll save you a lot of time having them. Might be two pounds there, so I would have basically gotten a dollar eighty for this, uh, which doesn't sound like it's a lot, you know. You think to yourself, well, if I pop off all the chips, and, and, and then if I get out all of the MLCCs, then I'll make my money back. Well, guys, that's true down the road, but honestly, on these boards. Let me show you. All right, these MLCCs are really small and they're next to a lot of resistors. So yes, you're, you have your palladium and your silver in there, but you also have uh, stuff like ruthenium, which is gonna get in your way. You know, I don't even, like I said, I don't even break these down anymore. Chips like this, while they look pretty, they're pretty well worthless, okay? I see chips have gold, there, there, even the little ones. There's another BGA. I see, I see, I see, I see. Um, these guys are really nice. They uh, have like a foil pack underneath of them and they actually have a very high gold content but they're hard as heck to get off the board. Okay, I think these are called MOSFETs and uh, they're mostly copper. There might be like a gold bond wire in there or two, but uh, as far as I know, there's very little. And another BGA, or no, this is another one of these right there, foil pack underneath. Um, and other than that, you got uh, some lightly plated gold pens. And there's gold pens in all of this also but the truth is okay and you got a crystal oscillator here the truth is it's worth more for you to take this board and sell it for what they give you than it is to go chasing after all of this gold you want gold 